what is going on everybody welcome to another video if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who i am my name is jeremy and welcome to jeremy's wild wild so guys i know it's been a couple weeks since i last uploaded my last video which was my aunt's davy unboxing if you guys haven't seen that i highly recommend checking it out but as you can see from today's title today's video is going to be back again with another unboxing video from the spider shop if you guys don't know who they are, I highly recommend checking them out. I'm pretty sure if you're watching today's video, you definitely know who they are. But if not, I'll be leaving the information down in the description below. This video isn't sponsored at all, but they are a great company and I highly recommend checking them out for all of your invert needs. Now, I know I do make a lot of unboxing videos and I have yet to update you guys lately on how my invert collection is going. So if you're curious on seeing that, don't worry. I am in the process of recording a all of my updates um, for all the inverts I'm currently keeping this being my mantis or my other inverts as well as my isopods and that's gonna be exciting it's gonna be a three part video so if you're looking forward to that please let me know down in the comments below so as i always say guys before i get into today's video i just want to quickly say according to my youtube statistics a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed so if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content so without further ado guys let's get into today's unboxing shall we so guys, as in every single video, here's a box I'm going to be unboxing today. As you can see, pretty hefty box and it is pretty heavy. The reason being is because I did order a few things. I did order a pair of scorpions. These are going to be my first scorpions. I'm super excited to finally have scorpions within my collection. And I did also buy a £30 mystery box. Now you probably wondered to yourself, Jeremy, was there any specific reason why you bought all of this stuff? And if I'm completely honest with you, no, there isn't. I got paid and I was like, you know what? Let me treat myself to some inverts. So let's get into today's unboxing. I'm super excited to see what I have gotten today in the mystery box. And I do know already what scorpions I got, of course, because I did choose them myself. And I just cannot wait. And as always, guys, Spider Shots packing is always super, super good. Uh, this was actually a little delayed. Uh, it was supposed to come yesterday at the time of recording this, but luckily it did come today and it did come in the morning as my dad texted me when I was at work letting me know that the box has arrived. So I'm just hoping that the inverts did okay. And yeah, so getting into the box today, guys, as you can see, here's some stuff on the top and oh nice ah oh, every time every time i do these unboxings i always scratch up the stickers but that is a really nice sticker if you guys know what species of tarantula this is let me know and also guys in my updates video you'll see in part two i did actually get my first tea um if you know me from outside of youtube uh, you do know that i did get my first tea but it's going to be the first time i'm revealing it on my channel so i'm super excited to show you guys that but yeah stay tuned to that and also as you can see here guys um spider shop does keep the uh sell sorry they do sell the tarantula room enclosures if i just open up the leaflet here and there's a bunch of varieties that you can choose from and it does have the prices and the dimensions as well do plan on getting some of these enclosures eventually and of course the iconic leaflet which i already have on my sticker board as you can see right there next to a sticker that's being covered up by unseen universe's business card and yeah so that's all of that stuff moving it all out of the way let's get into the inverts so digging into here of course plenty of packing peanuts oh and lovely as you can see i think it's the reason why the price is for uh shipping with the spider shop is a little bit more expensive than usual it's because there is a heat pack provided which is super super good i'm very very happy and still fairly warm not as warm as i would like it but it is warm and thank goodness they did pack this because of course getting into winter time it is getting pretty cold now and i'm just gonna take this box oh so we have a box in a box it looks like so this is probably the mystery box and i'm just going to shake off those packing peanuts so i'll put that to the side for now and just have a little dig around in here see if the scorpions are in here or not nope yeah packing peanuts we do love our Ah, brilliant. I just spilled a bunch on the floor. But it looks like everything is inside that small box there. So I'm just going to put the camera down just a little bit and I'll give you guys a better look. So this is better. Smaller box on box. We do love a double unboxing. Chucking a heat pack in the bin. Uh, let's get into the smaller box. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm going to hopefully find the scorpions first because I actually have no idea what is inside this mystery box. I have been wanting to buy a Spider Shop mystery box for quite a while now. And you know what? I was like, I have some money. I got paid. Why not spend it and get a mystery box? Oh, come on, hurry up, get 
get inside, get inside. Okay, so what is on the top here? Hmm. Let's have a look here, shall we? Hornet. Sulawasi. Hmm. I wonder what's in here. I have a look inside there, but this is part of the mystery box, guys, as you can see. Hornet Sulawasi. Hmm, I saw Sulawasi under the millipede, so maybe that's a millipede. Let's see what else is in here. <gasps> Ooh. I got a budwing mantis. Interesting, interesting. Nice. Oh, it molted in here. Hmm, got a budwing mantis. I do already have one, but that is okay. There we go, guys. Budwing mantis. Uh, Paris Flendel Affinis. Pretty cool indeed. Mm, interesting. Was not expecting to get a mantis in here today. Oh, I've got a little vial here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's one of my um, scorpions, my L Australidae uh, sub adult adults. So these are wood scorpions. I did get a pair of these scorpions. So this isn't part of the mystery box. So let me see if I can find the other vial in here. Let's see here. Oh, I got a H Miami sub adult adult. I wonder what this is. Not too sure what that is. That's part of the mystery box as well. Oh, I've got quite a few goodies in here. <gasps> oh, I got a golden, mil I got a gold millipede. That is awesome. Look at it. Okay, so that's going in my communal for sure. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's see what else I have in here. And here is the other wood scorpion. I'll we'll put that to the side. And is there anything else in here? Nope, that looks like it's all of it. Let me just double check by chucking in the packing peanuts inside of the box here. Yeah, looks like it's it. So I'm just going to pause it right here, guys. But whilst I get everything into view, so I got, it uh, looks like I think two millipedes. I got this, whatever this is. And I got a budwing mantis. So that is pretty cool. So that's my mystery box right here. And then this is... The scorpions I ordered separately. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys my wood scorpions. So starting off with showing you guys my scorpions, I got a pair of L, oh, please excuse me butchering scientific names, but Ostro Dose. Um, these are actually, the common name is the pygmy wood scorpion and I did get a pair. Um, for some reason they decided to put one as medium to large and one as sub-adult to adult. But I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be around the same size. And the reason why I have this food container here is because it's probably got on what I'm going to temporarily house them in until I get my cork bark, which I ordered. Should be coming around next week. And I only have small pieces of bark for now. But as you can see here, guys, this is the enclosure that they will eventually be going into a nice glass Komodo enclosure. And I got this from a good friend of mine, Jack. And if you don't know who he is, check him out on his ice pod group. I'll be leaving a link down in the description below. I do also admin on there. So if you guys feel like it, feel free to check out the ice pod Facebook group that me and him run together along with some other friends but yeah so getting back to the food container i'm probably just going to put them in here temporarily and then i have some substrate in my room i'll set up an enclosure for them i won't be showing that on camera just because um i have a lot of stuff to rehouse today so i'm just going to be showing you them all out there as a look so opening up the vial here guys i'm just going to be using a small pair of tweezers i'm going to push the camera just down a little bit just so you guys can get a better look at the scorpion inside. Now, I did choose these as my first scorpion because they are a smaller species. Oh, I can see it in here already. I don't know if you guys can see the tail, but I'm just going to pull out the tissue like this. And then I'll just unroll it because yes, these are scorpions and they do have a sting. Pretty sure these aren't like the most worst sting in the world, but you can never be more safe. It looks like, as you can see here guys, Looks like it did rip up the tissue a little bit. Maybe it was just a bit scared or something like that. But as you can see, guys, here it is. Oh my God, gorgeous. Look at that. Let me zoom in here for you guys. Get you guys a better look. Take some of this tissue off it without spooking it, hopefully. And wow, check it out. Now my friend Ben from Ben's Pets got one of these before me. And when I saw it, I was like, I can't wait to get them. Look how gorgeous they are. Unfortunately, the camera isn't doing it much justice, but super, super tiny. 
And as you see, look, compared to my thumb, look how... They're not kidding when they say pygmy. Like, this is a tiny, tiny scorpion. Super, super cute. And these are also a pathogenic species. So these will reproduce without a mate. But I did decide to get a pair because why not? Maybe potentially I'll get a pair and it'll make better genetics. Who knows? But I'm just going to do the same with this. Just pull out the tissue and I roll it inside in case it decides to sprint away. Oh, here it is. Roughly around the same size. This one is actually looking a little smaller. But as you can see here, my tiny little pygmy wood scorpion. Oh my God. Look how cute. Oh, bless it. But yeah. So here guys, I'm just gonna get you a better look one more time. Here are my two brand new pygmy wood scorpions. If you guys have any name suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, hopefully I at least have a female uh, one of these are females so they can be pathogenic and produce babies for me and yes if they do breed i will be sending the baby so if you're in the uk let me know if you're interested in the baby pygmy wood scorpion so let's get moving on to the mystery box inverts i got today so now guys moving on to showing you the millipedes and yes turns out the sp hornet sublawasi is actually a millipede and the reason why i know that is because i looked on the side so let's get a better look at these millipedes and of course these both will be going into my communal enclosure and yeah so this is the gold millipede super thin super super nice looking as you can see right here gorgeous gorgeous millipede and hopefully oh it's giving me a little chill on my skin i don't know if you can see that let me just zoom in right here it's chewing my skin kind of tickles i mean if it wants to have a munch you can have a munch why not <laughs> these guys have no venom or anything so i'm not that worried come on focus in okay that's a lot of nibbling for you so that's my new gold millipede super thin millipede which is pretty cool i don't really have a thin millipede all my millipedes i currently have are pretty chunky and i do have another new species of millipede so be sure to check that out in my update on my collection video Again, please look forward to that. I'm going to be super excited to record everything. Now moving on to the Hornet Sulawasi. I think that's what it says, Sulawasi on there. I'll have a double check on their website later on. But let's just open it up. Oh, I can see its little back right here. I'm just going to see if I can pick it up for you guys. Oh, wow. No way. I got two. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. I only thought I had one. Look at that, guys. I got two. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, wow. They are little chunky. Look how small they are. Oh, look at them. Gorgeous color. I have never seen this millipede before. Absolutely beautiful species. Look at this. You can, oh, wow. I got two of them. Oh, my God. I only thought I had one. Oh, I'm super happy with this. Now, I'm reluctant to put these in my communal now because they may be a pair. Uh, I need to double check how to sex millipedes, but these may be a pair. And if they are, I'm definitely going to go ahead and breed them. Maybe I'll keep them in one of my food containers. But look, guys, look how gorgeous these are. This one's a little shy, but this one's having a little walk around. Look at their head. Oh, my God. It has like... This one has like a little dot on its head and it looks like, oh my god, look, it looks like a little face. It looks like a little rubber ducky isopod face. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe I got two of them. I only thought I had one. Oh, this is, oh, oh. don't tumble off, little buddy. There we go. You can go back there and I'll put your buddy next to you as well. That's awesome, guys. I can't believe it. I only thought I had, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep these two separate and I'm going to see if they breed. And the orange one will, or the gold, sorry, the or is it ornatus gold? The ornatus gold will be going in my communal, but I'm going to keep these guys separate and see if I can breed them all. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, that is awesome. A pair of millipedes? Ah, oh, I couldn't be happier. Again, guys, if you haven't already, please, please check out the spider shop. They're a great company. Oh, looks like this one wants to come out and play now. Oh, look at it. Oh, this one looks different. 
Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. But yeah, maybe this is a pair of millipedes. That's awesome. But okay, guys, let's move on to showing you guys a mantis and then I'll end today's video, guys. Now, for the end of today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you the last edition in the mystery box, and that is a budwing mantis. The scientific name is Paris Philendale Affinis. If I did butcher that, I do apologize. My scientific name pronunciation is not the greatest. But yeah, as you can see, guys, it did molt in transit, and I'm glad that it molted successfully. I will be trying to sex this little one. And as you guys know, I do already have a budwing, and you'll be finding out its gender along as the rest of my mantis in the update video that i hopefully will be recording this weekend we'll have to see but yeah so let's just get you guys a better look at this mantis before i end today's video super happy that i do have another mantis it is quite cool i am actually looking at the time of recording into getting another pair of mantis to breed potentially and let's see if we can sex this little one mm, i'm saying mm, female for now but i'll have to wait for a couple more molts but yeah so that's pretty much the end of today's video guys i'm not going to be showing the rehousings since these inverts did stay in postage for a little longer than i would have liked and there are quite a few of them and yeah so that's the end of today's video guys let's get into the outro shall we so guys that's in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the unboxing of the mystery box as well as seeing my brand new scorpions the scorpions are so so tiny and i'm so glad i finally have a scorpion within my collection and I am super, super happy with everything that I got in my mystery box. Big shout out to um, the spider shop. I know it was a little bit late, but everything I got was so worth the wait. Like the Miami spider, like how did you read my mind? I was actually planning to get one of those from you guys. And the millipedes I got, the pair that I did get, I think they were called the Hornet Sulawasi. I did sex them and they are a potential pair. I just need to double check on that because I'm pretty sure one of them doesn't have the seventh pair of legs. Uh, so that's going to be the male and the female has all of her legs, but I will double check that uh, later on today. And yeah, so super, super happy with everything I got. Mantis was awesome. Gold millipede, another millipede within my communal. And these uh, Sulawasi millipedes will be kept separate. Do excuse the plain noise in the background. But yeah, so the orange, uh, the gold millipede is going to be going into my communal enclosure and the Sulawasi hornets will be kept separate just so I can attempt to breed them because I've never seen this species available before and I want to try breed them and I want to try sell some babies to you so again if you're based in the UK let me know if you're interested in some babies if you guys do produce and yeah that's enough of me rambling today so guys that's in today's video if you really enjoyed I'd really appreciate it if you guys would click the subscribe button with the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content i would also really really appreciate if you guys would follow me on instagram jeremy's wild world underscore i will leave the username down in the description below i post videos and pictures of the inverts and animals that i keep when i don't upload on youtube so guys that's all for me today leave a like leave a comment i'll see you guys next time Bye bye